Hello, and welcome to Southern DNSEC, the show where we make picks for the best conference there is. Well, um, last week was interesting. Yeah, the shirt burns me a little bit. It hurts. It hurts. I say so. We were at the Tennessee game, and we'll get to that a little later on. Um, but it was interesting. Um, four of our picks last week end up turning out to be um, losses. Yeah, I think uh, so. Made some mistakes. Made some made some some interesting picks that uh, I thought should have happened, but I, I don't know. I, something happened last week to some of those teams, and I don't know. let's get into it though. Uh, 12 p.m. We have Arkansas State. What was that Wolves? Red Wolves. The Red Wolves, yes. Versus number three Georgia Bulldogs. I mean, we're going to probably go through some of these pretty fast because it's going to be dead giveaway ways. Uh, who's going to win this? Yeah, it's nope. number three Georgia Bulldogs. Nobody's beaten from so that um, one's Georgia. That's pretty quick. It's ones. a pretty quick guess. It's Georgia. Yeah. Um, so next game: Kansas State Wildcats versus Mississippi State Bulldogs. Uh, both of these teams are 2-0 and right now um, going into this game. I think it could be a close game. Um, I know you're going to pick against me on this one. Yeah, um, I just – the Wildcats are doing real good. So, I think they're going to they're gonna do some pretty crazy stuff. I think uh, – Well, you know, also Mississippi State, 2-0 and also. I mean, this is – Well, they're not a, just 2-0, though. Kansas City's been blowing people out. Well, so. true, but uh, – uh, they're they're be going up against a different type type of team here. Yeah, so. I mean it may be completely opposite. So I, I, I'm on, I know you're going with Kansas State on this one. Yeah, Kansas I'm gonna State. go with Mississippi State. Uh, so this will be our first split on this one. Um, but both two uh, two teams are two and zero. Uh, could possibly be a good game uh, to watch. I, I say that probably might be just because of their um, close in rank here. Uh, it'll be a, the, almost the game of the week. Yeah. Well, the rest of these I think are going to be kind of close to blowouts. So. Um, next game, and here we go. Chattanooga Mox versus uh, Tennessee Volunteers. Yeah. Um. So, just a little quick history uh, between the two teams. Um, we haven't seen them since 2014, uh, which we beat them 45-10 that year. Um, but what's interesting, we used to play this team quite often. From 1945-1964, we played them every single year. Um. And then they just wiped wiped them off the schedule, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it's it's you know it's, it has been a few years since we played them. Um, they're one and one. Yeah, and we're not. We're not. Yeah. I'm not ruling out anything here. I mean, I I feel like that we should blow this team out of the water. But well, we, we, we should have blown out the past two teams. Yeah, out of the I water. mean, BYU should never been a contender yeah. to beat us. Uh, we, I, I, I'll say this: We did better that game than we did the first one, but the coaching's not there. The quarterback definitely is no. there. No, the Garantano, like we talked about last week, he's a one-dimensional quarterback. He stares at his receiver, who he's going to throw it to, and he's also very scared. Two times, or at least twice, that I've seen when he's at the game, fourth and one, and he changes the play up because he's afraid of the defense that's coming at him. Yeah, I guess I get I get a little sense of PTSD maybe from last year, but we 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 figured that out. You know, if you don't have an offensive line, then you just need to be quick. Well, he's not quick. Well, he's the thing is, is to be scared of a BYU defense. Yeah, I mean, I can There's understand a lot it's bigger Alabama and scarier people. or Florida, you know, but or Georgia, but no, it's BYU. Why are you terrified of a small school defense? I don't know. He's just... not a he's not an SEC quarterback. He should never be here. And for Pruitt. To back him up and say that he's the best quarterback we've got, that's that's I, scary. I don't see it, but, uh, that's scary. But the, the main thing with this is Chattanooga. Okay, I, I honestly had no idea who they were before I looked them up. Throw in somebody else. What, yeah, I mean, well, well, it's not going to hurt. It's going to hurt. I mean, I mean if, if if Garantano is the best quarterback we got. Then save them for Alabama, Georgia. Yeah, give somebody else a try. Yeah, because right now we're we're desperate. Let's see, Tennessee let's see fans these wide receivers. Yeah, make some plays. I mean, give them a chance to get some. Now we scouts. got some good receivers. We have great we've receivers, had, but they don't get to touch long. the ball. No, because when when Garantano does throw it, he either overthrows 
Or he underthrows. Or he waits. The only time, okay, I will say the only time he did make good good uh, passes when the, when our player was already on the ground. He made a really good pl- pass to the other team. Yeah, that yeah we've seen that one also. Yeah, that so, is, I mean, uh, he's he's terrified. Prove it, you got to get him out of there. If he is our best, well, prove it to us. Show us there's not a good, better quarterback versus Chattanooga. Yeah, I just want to see it. I because mean, I don't believe it. I believe there's someone else there that you just don't want to put up yet. I mean, he's a junior. Yeah. This shouldn't be this shouldn't be happening at junior level. Yeah, we've we've already seen it, for, you know, in his past play experience that he's he's never had it. Yeah, and I understand that he doesn't have all that interceptions. But the fact is, is when you only look at one player and whenever he's not open, you throw it out. Of course, you're not going to have all that interceptions. Yeah, I mean, come well, on. We got you know uh, intentional grounding because he was he was about to get hit because he wasn't looking at nobody else. Yeah. And there was two other guys open. You know, some. But anyways, I know we're kind of we're kind of right. upset about this. Yeah. But I will say, if we don't beat Chattanooga, that leaves maybe maybe one game we can win this year, yeah. and that will be the worst record we've had since 1909 when we went one six and two, and that's two ties. I think we'll be worse than that. Yeah. So in 110 years since Tennessee's been well over 110 years since we've been playing since 1909, 110 years. That's how long it took to get back to that record. That's bad. That is bad. We've had great years with with some not that great coaches. We've had great years. But so, anyway. But anyways, okay. So who yeah. do you pick on this one? We can go all day <laughs> I'm long. About now, this. thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to pick. I'm just gonna pick Tennessee because if we lose, we, I don't know. We got we got a. I'm ready for basketball season. Yay. Yeah. It's. Something else. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go watch some Tennessee volleyball or something. I don't know. But At this point, I'm uh. – we, we, There's no way we lose this game. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> we thought that about BYU, so. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm going to pick Rocky Top again, but – Last time. Last time, guys. I'm taking I mean, off the jersey if you it, – it's. I'm gonna, I mean, it is necessarily the last time in the next few weeks. I mean, we're playing Florida yeah. and, and Alabama. I mean, it, we're not going to get past them. I mean, yeah. they're just way too good of teams. Anyways, let's go to the next team. Um, both of us rock top on that one. Uh, Alabama versus South Carolina. Number two team versus South Carolina who got beat by North Carolina. Yeah. So, I, I don't think t- South Carolina is a terrible team. Again, I, I just – Alabama. It's Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they have the best players. They always do every single year. Again, like we've talked about per, uh, previous videos, it's a page turner. Alabama's got yeah. this one. Yes. Um, it's not going to be fun to watch. No, know. this will be a boring game. Southeastern Louisiana Lions versus Ole Miss. Um, what happened last week? I don't know. How, um, how did Ole Miss beat Arkansas? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I got a buddy who's an Arkansas fan, and he, he called me up and was kind of gloating that, you know, where we've been on a bad season. And he's like, you know, they, rate, they ranked y'all as the worst – team in the SEC. I said, well, I can understand right now. Yeah. He, he said, well, you took that title from us. <laughs> Arkansas has won a game this year. We haven't. Yeah. Um, but we're not talking about them just yet. But Ar- our Ole Miss is coming off a win from last week. So, they're going against the Southeastern Louisiana Lions, which... Yeah. Who dat? Uh, who dat, yeah. yeah but so, I'm going to go with Ole Miss on this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with Ole Miss just because they've, they've surprised me once. They'll surprise me again. <laughs> yeah. Um... Next game, uh, be mindful. These are all at 12 p.m. I, I think, right? I don't know if you. Well, I think we we moved. Time we might. We probably moved into 4 p.m. Um, okay. okay, we haven't wrote those down. But anyways, next game of the week: um, Colorado State Rams versus Arkansas Razorbacks. So Arkansas coming off a loss. Of course, we just talked about that. Yeah. To Ole Miss. To Ole Miss. Um, but these are both teams are one and one right now. Yeah. Um, they're both one and one teams. Colorado State's a smaller team. Um, I think you'll probably go against me on this one, but I'm gonna have to pull for Arkansas again on this one. I'm gonna go with the Rams because it's Arkansas. Arkansas is like us right now. If we can find a way to lose, we're going to. <laughs> yeah. That's the way Arkansas has been. And Colorado years. State beat Arkansas last year, so I'm guessing they're gonna do it again just because you know there's a little bit of hurt feelings. Arkansas is already reeling, so I think yeah. that they're just gonna. I think they're gonna. Get, I don't think they're gonna get killed. I think they're going to get hurt again, though. All right. Well, I, I still say Arkansas. You say Colorado. 
Maybe, maybe Tennessee gets a step above them. Just well, it's going to be a fight for worst. Uh, right now, they're they're one ahead of us. So, <laughs> yeah. um, next game, uh, Kent State Golden Flashes versus number eight Auburn Tigers. Yeah, it's it's a page it's turn. Auburn. It's Auburn, number eight team versus a nobody team. Um, which leads us into the next game, Florida versus Kentucky, number nine team versus Kentucky. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it could happen. Kentucky, Kentucky could surprise. Is not bad at you know they're not they got great running backs, uh, but they lost their QB. Yeah, the quarterback got hurt. Um, Florida is number nine. Now Florida has a history of blowing it though, and had they struggled against Miami, so. Yeah, I, I think I, I think, still think it's going to be Florida, but I think they're they're going to struggle a little bit with Kentucky, especially if Kentucky lost their quarterback. I don't think it's going to be a yeah. it's going to be anything unless Kentucky has some uh, you know a, technically a wildcat and you know basically somebody that's going to surprise us. You know, it's you a possibility know. they got to have better quarterbacks than us because apparently we don't have good ones. So yeah, that we know of. Uh, but yeah, Florida. Yeah, I'm more with Florida on that one too. All right. Uh, Lamar Cardinals versus number 16, Texas A&M. Yeah, the, the Aggies are – they're a great team. You know, it, it, it does my heart good to see this many SEC teams in the ranks. Yeah. Uh, you know, up, up high in the top 25. I wish it was Tennessee. But yeah, I wish it wasn't them. But yeah. uh, we can't help that this year, I guess. I guess – I mean, I don't see Lamar winning this game. I just don't. No. Texas A&M's, you know, they've, they've had some struggles. They've had some, uh, some some hard teams they've come against. Clemson, of course, beat them, but it's Clemson. But, uh, yeah, Texas A&M. Texas A&M all the way. All right. Uh, Northwestern State, is it the Demons? Yeah. Uh, versus number four, LSU. Page Turner guys, I mean seriously, it's Page Turner. It's definitely going to be one <laughs> yeah. because LSU come off that big win, yeah, over Texas. So uh, I, was, I, that was a great game. I was excited about that. That was I figured that was the way it was going to go. Um, so I'm, I just LSU all the way on this one. It's a Page Turner guys. All right, leads us to the last game: um, SC Missouri State the Red Hawks versus Missouri. Um, they're both one on one. Uh, yeah. Be another close game, I think, like we had. What was it? Kansas State Wildcats versus uh, uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs, I guess. Well, so I guess that'd be another close game. Well, Mizzou yeah. just picked off West Virginia like they were nothing. Yeah, I didn't call that. So I thought West Virginia was going to be better than that. I mean, I, I definitely didn't think it was going to be no crazy. I mean, they they whipped them. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Semo uh, is good. Football school, but not the best football school. And I think Mizzou, if they keep the win going, if they keep that that uh, the morale up, I think they'll they'll walk all over Semo. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a two and one for but, Mizzou all day long. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it to Missouri all the way. Well, the Tigers. So there's a pick for the week. Um, hopefully, we done a little bit better on picks this week than we did last week. Hopefully, no more upsets or. If you think you can do it better, sad times. Send, send us, put it, put it in the comments. I mean, you know, yeah, let's know who y'all pick. Us. Yeah, uh, we bit. don't mind a little challenge, and it's something that y'all think y'all may pick different than us. Go right ahead. If if somebody gets a, a the whole SEC picks right, maybe they can go on I'll, the video next week with us or something. Come on the show. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll put you on the show. We'll uh, we'll put you on the next show or something with us. So. If you can pick all of them right, that we don't pick. Now, you got if it's something different, y'all pick something different. If we get all these right, and that's all on us. I don't think we are. We ain't getting of, all them right. Uh, one right there, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but if they pick all of them right and we don't, hey, you got an open invitation to come join us one time. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for like, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when our videos uh, go up. Um, we got should have another video coming up a regular. DNA or SC, Southern DNA video. Um, so yeah. that'll be coming up soon. We love y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it.